Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my next review. It's going to be for the Master Grade Aegis Gundam. Uh, and as you can see, I have the Aegis displayed uh, right now in its mobile armor mode. Uh, and as you can see, there's a uh, action base for it. And um, overall, it has a, a very nice look. I think it uh, captures uh, the anime perfectly. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Um, if you guys are planning on getting this kit, you're going to notice some things about it that I never really noticed. Um, and it's really going to help you just to appreciate, I, I think, the design that went into this. Uh, in terms of its mobile armor mode, it's certainly uh, unique. Um, you've got these metal claws that can come out that can also hold uh, these beam effect parts. And also... In its mobile armor mode, you can store his shield on one side. You can store the beam rifle on the other side. Or, should you desire, you can actually use this little hole right here and store the gun like that if you want. It's just another way of storage. Um, the shield. The shield is probably the most uh, simplest part of this entire kit. Uh, it contains the fewest pieces. I think it only has uh, five pieces altogether. Um, the only movement is on this little connector right here. And in mobile armor mode, it sits like that. In mobile suit mode, you just flip it down. Now, it does have a handle back here that's just molded into it. And if you want, you can set him up to hold it with the shield, or you can peg it into his arm. The beam rifle has a few moving pieces on it. First of all, this right here is actually the connector uh, that holds the um, gun on the kit. So you don't actually need it. So when you're not having it displayed that way, you would take it off. The guard for the hand grip will come down. And then the handle can come down after that. And uh, as far as beam rifles go, it's certainly along the unique side. It's not your average everyday looking uh, rifle, so it kind of it's kind of cool. It has kind of like a a sniper look to it, I think. Anyways, and now let's get on to the kit itself. I'm gonna do uh, my best to give you a seamless transformation, but I can't promise you that. So, um, first thing is we can unpeg it from the action base. And then back here is the action base connector. And that actually needs to come off. And so here's the kit itself. And you can see there's like quite a bit of detail in here. Uh, you can see like some of the mechanical workings on the inside. Here's the big uh, cannon that it would fire in the series. Uh, the arms uh, and legs articulate uh, fairly well. You can get uh, quite a bit of movement out of them. So uh, however you want. So certainly a lot of uh, posing options. Anyways, to transform this guy, ooh, let's see if I can remember. First thing we want to do is straighten out all of the appendages. And it's not completely necessary to do this. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, to work with. Next, uh, this piece right here can actually, it's kind of hard to see, but it can slide back and forth. And I'm going to need to push it back, which I just succeeded in doing. Unfortunately, I also popped off the back skirt. Back skirt, one piece. Side skirt, like 30 pieces. Kind of funny. Anyways, okay, that's done. Uh, now, I think we need to twirl these legs around a little bit. 
actually, let's do this with them. Uh, first piece right here is um, for the uh, pelvic area, and I am going to swivel that up so this actually drops down. And the back skirt came off again. I'm going to leave that off. We'll get that put back on later. And this comes up. And now that will actually lock that all in place down there. Now, um, I'm saying lock it in place. Without it, I found that as I am trying to position these, you can see that there are two separate parts right here. As I was trying to position these, this actually spread open and one of the legs came out. So um, you definitely get more stability when that's clipped in place there. And then next, the chest piece can come down. And like so, and then these little chest vents here will swing out like so. And then we're going to work on his legs. And they get swung around like so. Uh, this piece over the foot is actually skirt armor, so that pops up. And the leg is actually sticking out a little bit farther than it needs to. So over here, I lost something. This panel opens up, and it allows the leg... Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, the leg is already in. The leg needs to come out. Lock it back in place. Fold up the spike here at the bottom. Oh, that's my front skirt again. Okay, sorry there, get that back on camera. And then again back here, flip that panel open. You know, I'm thoroughly confused. Oh, I'm sorry. That looks bad. Shame on me. They're both supposed to be closed. I had one open and one closed when I transformed it, that's why. Alright, we're halfway into having a mobile suit. I'm going to put this back on in hopes that it stays on for the rest of the review. Okay. Now, next, and I'm not sure how easy this is going to be, but uh, these sky, uh, side skirts right here uh, do have a little bit of po or posing options, and I'll just show them now, I guess. Uh, and really, it's that these pieces here can extend out. Uh, why you want to do that, I don't know. I'm assuming if you want, like, you know, some kind of insane-looking you know, aerial scene where he's flying around looking all crazy that you would uh, have those displayed like that. Anyways, the side skirts, if you can see where they connect, right in there. You actually have to pull them out. There we go. And when you pull them out, you can start moving them around a little bit. And you need to do that because you let's see this guy's fighting me now. These are a little tight. Well, that came off. That's fine. Anyways, so this piece right here now needs to move. And I think just for ease, I'm going to get that stuff out of the way. Okay. So, this is actually going to flip up like that. So now it kind of looks more like a side support here for the shoulder thing. Um, this guy has always given me trouble. And 
and I am tempted to just pull this side skirt off as well. It doesn't want to do it, but that's fine. Let me see if I can just move it where I need it. If I had one complaint about this kit, it's that the transformation doesn't like people with big hands. And I've seen a lot of you reviewers out there, and I know you've got big hands too. And I'm willing to bet you're going to feel the same way. Okay, so now those pig back in place like that. And we can start working on our arms. And to do that, you have to get this arm twisted in just the right way. And I am not remembering how I did that. And I didn't bring the instructions with me. Lovely. Ah, there we go. Okay. So up like that. come out of there arms drop out of there now uh, we're gonna finish this off so back here we've got the head and this little backpack thing so uh, we can tilt the head up Actually, a lot of steps, kind of interesting. You can't bend this down completely until you get that up completely. And just like in a lot of the other movements, you can't move one thing a certain way until you move something uh, another way. And it's a little difficult to remember the entire sequence. So anyways, you just bring that forward like so. And then these little movable chest pieces here actually clamp on. And hold it in place. Okay. And then this piece can go down. That can come back like that. I'm going to get my side skirt back on and now it wants to be difficult don't you love that sound okay Alright, we're getting there. One last thing, just because it's bothering me. I'm going to get my back skirt back on. Okay. The head is fairly simple. Um, drop this piece down, lock it in place. Pull those out. And then push the whole thing back. And then finally for the arms, um, this is a reused foot, if you can't tell, 
and it's going to slide back. The arm goes in, and then that little peg clips into place, and that comes down. The arm slides around like so. Sorry guys, I didn't realize how close I'm holding that thing to the camera throughout this video. So you're probably getting some fuzzy close-up shots. Same thing over here. We collapse the arm. Bring the foot back. Lock it in place. And bring that down. And if you can't tell, he doesn't have any hands. And yes, just like Wing Gundam, we have to put him back on. Um, I certainly understand why they can't do it on the kit, but I mean, I don't know. I think all of us wish that there could be a kit that could do that, but such is life. Okay. Now it's been off camera this whole time. All right, a little bit of work to get it here. That probably took a lot longer than it should have. But let's uh, adjust the camera a little bit. Um, now, it does kind of make sense with all of these uh, but if you get him posed just right he'll stand there no problem so now for connecting the shield we just take that little piece here and it just pigs in like that and you can actually use the shield to help balance him a little bit and then for the beam rifle. It has those hands that everybody loves except me. And the hand fits into the grip and the pigs into it actually. Except this one doesn't want to. For some reason. All right, sorry about that. I actually had to edit some of that out. The uh, hand isn't cooperating for some reason. Uh, anyways, uh, he's uh, holding the beam rifle now, just barely. Uh, it's actually not working out so great at this point. Um, I thought that I had the hand pegged in there before. Uh, but as I'm trying to connect that hand to it, uh, it doesn't seem to want to fit. And I don't know if I grabbed the wrong hand uh, before I started doing the review or not. Uh, but anyways, there he is in all of his glory. Um, I'm going to take this back out because I'm angry with it right now. But it's a very interesting looking kit. It's very different. Um, very different. When uh, you want to have him displayed with like a beam saber, for instance, you would uh, just extend that piece out and then slide this guy on here. And what is a little strange to me is I could have sworn that on the show they were more like normal beam sabers instead of these little short things. But... Uh, anyways, you can have them like that, and certainly if you wanted to have him with more, you can do that. These slide on kind of funny, but um, once you get them on, they're not going to fall off. You could certainly hit them against something, and uh, they would fall off pretty easily but if it's just sitting there on your shelf they're never going to fall off and he also has an opening cockpit which doesn't work super well but that piece can open up 
this comes down just about that far and you can see the little pilot in there. Uh, overall, I like the kit. Um, like I had brought up before, it's something that it it does anyways is kind of help you realize some of the things about this kit that you probably never realized before, um, or about the design anyways. For instance, his funky, huge uh, shoulder pieces are actually um, extremely identical to the legs. Uh, these pieces up here in the arms are almost identical to the feet. The side skirts are ridiculous. Um, but overall, I like the kit. I'm really, really pleased I bought it. Uh, I can't wait to get this guy painted and decaled and all that fun stuff and um, display him with all the other kits. Now, as you can see, I'm struggling here a little bit to get him to stand, and he'll do that. But when you get them right where you want them, and I think I'm going to cheat and get his shield in here to help me balance him. When you get him where you want him, he's probably not going to go anywhere. But at the same time, I am going to probably display him up against a wall or something. So uh, there he is. Um, it's a very long review. I'm sorry that transformation sequence took a lot longer than I uh, thought it would. But uh, the Aegis, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, it's a lot of red, obviously, but you know, overall, it's just different enough that I'm glad it's going to have a place on my shelf and uh, I'm happy that I purchased it. Uh, it's not a cheap kit, um, it's a little more on the expensive side of Master Grades. Um, but rightly so. It's got a lot of uh, uh, the transformation. Um, these guys, I mean, these obviously don't cost much, but they put a lot of thought into this kit. And it certainly shows, uh, it also shows, uh, obviously, in the price, but um, well worth it in my opinion. So uh, with that, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.